Welcome back to this, the fourth and final episode of this DNN tutorial, where we will finally find out who the murderer is. Um, but before we get to that, uh, let's discuss what we've built so far. We have a BPMM model called eligibility check, which is a word I can definitely say correctly, um, which implements a, BPM, a DMN model, which we are very happily have just built, and some uh, user tasks so we can enter some data and also view some data. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to change something in uh, the front end, the forms, and the DMN table. Specifically, this is our task to start our form. If we go to start my, start my process, I have a thing called engagement score here, where I can enter my name, my uh, status, my date of birth, which as everyone knows by now is the 1st of August 2023, and my engagement score, which I guess I'm going to put as 20. But what does that mean? We are going to um, turn this into something we can calculate. I'm going to do that by adding a bunch more information into this form and then creating a brand new table to do a calculation that helps us understand the engagement score of an individual user to see if they are eligible for a upgrade. Now, building new forms is a little out of scope for this tutorial, and luckily, everything we've built so far is right here in this GitHub repo, so you can get it yourself. And we're going to start by, I'm going to download uh, a new form uh, uh, for the front end, and I'm going to put it into my project. So you can do the same. You can go to the repo, download it, and put the new form there. I'm going to then go to my model. I'm going to uh, then attach the new form. Well, detach the old one first. Let's unlink it. Great. And now let's find the new one, which is here and then link it. So what's the difference here? The difference here is that I've removed um, the Take a look at it. I've removed the uh, input of a, uh, a score for engagement. And instead, I've got some advanced details here where I've asked people for the years in the platform, frequency of engagement, and what other accounts they might have. We also have a tick box for community contributor. And what do we do with that information? Well, we're going to go into our DMN model and we are going to change it. So now we take that data, run it through another model, that is then going to feed into this input column, which is going to give us a score that we can then assess with our current column. So I'm going to do that right now. So we'll start as we always do, which is designing this table. So we go to our DRD. I'm going to grab a uh, table right here and drop it. I'm going to convert this to a decision table, and it's going to be called a uh, calc you late. Uh, engagement score. There we go. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm then going to attach it to this so we know that the, the result of this table will go in here. That's great. And now we also have a bunch of inputs that we need. Um, I do have the, the, the form right here. As you can see, here are the, the different elements, years on platform, engagement frequency, accounts, and contributor. And they're different. This is a number. This is a string. This is a Boolean. This is a list. So let's, um, let's discuss how that might look when we're actually trying to build it. So first things first, let's add our first thing, which is going to be uh, contributions. Uh, to the community. Okay, that's the first thing. We'll add that collected there. Then we have years on years on platform. Okay, also connected there. We also have engagement frequency. Engagement do engagement is a word that is just not treating me well today frequency luckily frequency has been nice to me today one that usually tricks me and finally uh, accounts cool let's close it up oops there we go okay so now we have all of our inputs 
and we have our output so now let's work on making this executable and something kind of fun that I didn't mention before when designing it which is um, you can define your inputs in here to make sure you don't make any weird spelling mistakes because I hear a rumor that engagement is a very hard word to spell uh, luckily that shouldn't be a problem for you because we can actually go into our uh, uh, contributing to the community right and we have here some details for the input we have an input ID right so if I go here and I see okay there's the field that I'll be it's called contributor is the name of the variable that will be sent into the process I can make sure I use that correctly by adding this as the ID in here as the input ID so now when I go into the uh, table itself um, I can add an input like for instance I can say uh, contributions to the community and I can then find the variable um, contributor right there. There we go. So now we make sure that there's a nice obvious uh, link there. And this of course is a Boolean. Um, but before I get to that, let's talk about how we're going to build this table we know the inputs right there's going to be a an output which is going to be an engagement score and then that output uh, will be called engagement score and that's going to be a um, a number okay so how do we do this we're going to create uh, our inputs and then I'm going to talk about the hip policy which is the big thing here that's going to be different so I'll skip ahead and add the inputs alrighty there we go um, we now have all of our inputs added we have our boolean our number uh, our accounts which is not actually a string but I'll get to that and our um, uh, engagement frequency let's go back to the form for a second to see how these variables might actually look so for instance, when I add years, I might say four. Uh, engagement frequency, I have some options here, daily, weekly, and monthly. And accounts, I have a list I can choose from. So there's academy, community, and then I have my, my, my tick box. In the end, the variables look like this. We have years on platform four. We have engagement, which will be weekly. And we have accounts, which is a, a, a group of accounts. So if we look back on our table, uh, the, the way that I've been able to make sure that we don't have something we're not expecting from this drop down is that in engagement frequency I've defined those uh, allowed values that means if I add a row I can say okay go in here and select the allowed values this is also very very handy to make sure there's nice consistency across stuff um, so let's make our first uh, big decision which is the hip policy I'm going to make a collect sum. Now, what is this? In the first table, we use the first hit policy, which means it goes through every single rule. Let's look at it again. And then whichever one um, uh, matches, it'll get returned. So for instance, if I'm uh, a regular status user with like a engagement score of two, well, it won't trigger this rule, but it will trigger this one. This one is a collect, which means everything that could be triggered will be. So that's a regular collect. But now we're going to go collect sum. Collect sum is going to say uh, every single rule that matches will hit. So we're not going to stop once we reach one. We're going to keep on going through them all. And we're going to add up the value of all of the rules that matched to a single um, uh, uh, value, a single score. The reason we do this is because every single rule is going to give us some indication of the engagement of a user. It doesn't matter whether the contribution, years on platform is uh, greater than two. Cool. Uh, the accounts, we doesn't really matter what accounts you have. And uh, engagement frequency is weekly. So if the user is on the platform two years, they still engage weekly, we give them a cool five engagement score okay now the nice thing is they can do more than that right so let's imagine that somebody is uh, has um, uh, 
uh, is a member of the forum, so they have an account with the forum. Um, what we can do here is, and this is slightly different, we can say if forum is in accounts, they just get 10 points. So now we've created is two possible scenarios. If they are weekly users with more than two years, they get five points, but if they also have that and they have uh, they have an account in the forum, they now get a total of 15 points. And so we can keep on adding stuff. Like, let's say, for instance, anyone with more than five years on the platform, they just automatically get an additional 10 points because that's pretty good. And we can then be more complicated about the accounts in general. Like if they uh, have more than one account, here I have a field expression that says, uh, the list contains accounts. If it's the forum and community, then that is uh, both. If they have those two accounts, that's great. Let's give them an extra 10 points there. Cool. And we can go through and I'll go through each of these now and I'll complete the table. Alrighty, I have added all of the required rules. We have nine of them. Some of the interesting ones to look at are this one here, which is if they are, uh, if they've contributed to the community, they just get 10 points, but we give them an extra 30 points on top of that if they're also daily engaged. There's some other fun stuff here, like um, folks that are in the academy, um, uh, and they have daily and weekly get 10, but those who only have monthly get five. One of the most important rules in a collect sum is maybe one you might miss. So be careful on this. It's the very last rule we have here, which is zero, which is the, the last rule, which is if nothing matches, you have a zero. The reason it's important is because you want to be able to have a number come out of this at the end. And so this is a guarantees you that you'll have at least a zero. So that's what we're going to do here. So now I'm going to talk about how to connect this to our table because if you go back to DRD, we want this, which is uh, to connect to this. So I'm just going to copy this and change the ID. This is key. The ID of the table is what you actually want to call from the input column. So this is the ID of our calculated engagement. If I go in here, I then go to engagement score and I'm going to call that calculated engagement score. This will then call the table in question. OK, and so I think, yeah, that should work. And now all you need to do is deploy this, uh, which I will do like this to our same cluster as before. We also need to deploy the new uh, BPMN model because we've changed the um, uh, the front end a bit. So let's go to the diagram and let's change this deploy that And then we'll be able to start an instance. So let's just click deploy And It's finding the for the forms now to add to it. There's the two forms There's version 2 great deploy So now we have a newest uh, DMN table newest BPMN table. So let's go to uh, our processes same place before. So here's our new form. I'm going to put my name, my user status as VIP, my birth date, last year, November. I am a student. Here's on platform. Let's say three. Frequency. I'm on there weekly. I've also got a forum account and a community account. Uh, but I'm not a, I'm not a contributor. So let's untick that. Let's start the process and let's see what happens. Um, cool, let's go into operate and let's take a look at what just happened. There's our two instances that are running. The most recent one you can see now is version two. And if I go in here, I can see this table has indeed triggered. Let's go and take a look at the results. So we see that we have an engagement score of 25. And if I'm interested in how that engagement score came about, I can just select here and take a look at all the, the things that gave me this engagement score. You can see here that uh, my weekly and uh, my input was three and weekly. So I get five points there. I have a forum, so it's 10 points. I uh, have community and forum, another 10 points and then zero. 
Uh, so it has a total of 25. And we can see the result right there, 25. And then this was fed into this column, which you can see here, 25. And VIP means I'm eligible. Wonderful. I hope that was useful. Don't forget everything that I just uh, showed is available right here um, in the um, GitHub repo, which is linked below. Cheerio and goodbye.